Unless you like reading gibberish, you probably haven't paid much attention to your contact lens prescription. It's usually just a piece of paper you pass from your eye doctor to your optician, and then they handle the rest. But it's actually really useful to know what the terms and numbers on your prescription mean, because they help you understand exactly what's going on in your eyes. And this prescription is a lot simpler than it looks. Here's how to break it down. These first two abbreviations, OD and OS, are just Latin terms for your right eye and left eye. If you see OU, that refers to both of your eyes. Every prescription for contact lenses needs to include a few things to be valid. Power, PWR, or sphere, SPH. These numbers tell how well you see objects up close and far away in each eye. The minus sign represents nearsightedness, and the plus sign represents farsightedness. Nearsightedness means that you have trouble focusing on things in the distance, and farsightedness means that you have trouble focusing on things close to you. Here's an example. If you see the number minus two after OD in the SPH column, it means your prescription calls for two diopters to correct the nearsightedness in your right eye. Two diopters means you're only mildly nearsighted. The higher the number, the more nearsighted you are, so you'll just need a stronger prescription. Base curve, or BC. This is the curvature of the contact lens. The number fits the curvature of your eye, measured in millimeters. Diameter, or DIA. This is the distance from edge to edge of the lens that's also measured in millimeters, and it determines how your lens fits on your eye. Cylinder, or CYL. This tells if you have astigmatism, which means things may look blurry because your eye isn't totally round. If you don't see a number here, you don't have astigmatism correction in your contact lenses. But if you do, the number represents how much lens power is needed to correct it. And there's no stigma to astigmatism. One in three people have it. If your astigmatism is high enough, you may need to be fitted for a special lens called a toric lens. These come in a range of styles, including monthly, weekly, and daily disposables. Axis. This represents the direction of the astigmatism on your eye. The axis, which ranges from 1 to 180, tells you if your astigmatism is straight up and down, 90 degrees, across your cornea, 180, or somewhere in between. Brand. Unlike a prescription for eyeglasses, a contact lens prescription must include a specific brand of lenses. Glasses sit on your nose, so there's more wiggle room to shop around for the right frames. But contact lenses have to fit an exact way on your eye, so your doctor will work with you to find the right brand for you. We carry a wide variety of brands. We also have all the latest high-tech options, like silicone hydrogel lenses, which allows more oxygen into your eyes than regular soft contact lenses, which is more comfortable and less likely to cause infection. You might see Add Power, or Add, which means you need more magnifying power in the lower part of a multifocal lens to see better up close. Every prescription must also include your eye doctor's name, his or her office address, phone number, license number, national provider number, and signature. And don't forget to look at the expiration date. A contact prescription typically expires after one year. Your eye doctor needs to make sure that the lenses still fit and your eyes are healthy enough to keep wearing them. If you need to stock up, consider joining our eye care club. At $99 for three years, you'll get up to two exams every year and discounts on annual supplies and eyeglasses.